أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على خير خلق الله We praise Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Brothers and sisters we are still uh, on dead hand to delight Dead hand to delight Inshallah in the series 3 we would be speaking about She wants my downfall She wants my downfall this is another true life story of one of our dear brother in Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with him. Brothers and sisters, come with me to listen to his life story. Thereafter, we are going to pick lessons and uh, to guide our brothers and whoever is also uh, in the same challenge as is. Bismillah. Sheikh, I left my country for a foreign land to work. It was an opportunity and I arranged my going with the knowledge of my wife. I trust my wife and love her so much. It's over a year I left. My earnings are huge, but I send 75% of them to my wife to take care of the family from it as well as to build a house i have eight months left for the termination of my visa subhanallah and uh, i have got to know through a loyal friend of mine that my wife has been sending fake pictures of our house under construction i queried her and she confessed she bought no piece of land, talk less of making foundation. Sheikh, I don't want to breach our marriage. What advice do you have for me? Because it's going to be a great achievement if I can own a house after my working periods here in uh, the United States. Subhanallah. Uh, Sheikh, I'm down and depressed. Please help me. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant our brother delight. Whoever is also facing same challenge like this, I pray that Allah Azza wa Jal in his mercy make you happy and grant you delight from this dead hand. Brothers and sisters, the first fact we are going to discuss is by Allah we excel. By Allah, we excel. My brothers and sisters, I want us to understand from the life story of our brother that there is nothing we lay our hands on in this life and nothing would be successful except by the help of Allah Azza wa Jal. Brothers and sisters, it's a common saying and the Muslim thong that la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah al ali al azim many of us we utter this statement without thinking deeply about it or not even putting it into practice what is it la hawla wa la quwwata there is no there is no intelligence or no power except the power of Allah, the most high, the most great. Brothers and sisters, so there is, there, there, there is no way we can say we want to do something in this life except by the help of Allah Azza wa Jal, that thing would become successful. That is one. You know, nothing is achievable unless by the wish of Allah Azza wa Jal. <coughs> Excuse me. Brothers and sisters, I want to repeat to you again that Allah tells us in one of Al Hadith Al Qudusi that Abudi anta turid wa ana urid wa la yakunu ma turidu illa ma urid. 
Allah says, my slave, my creation, you want something and I, your Lord, I have my decree. So none of your wishes would be what you want except that I want it for you. So I want us to understand this first fact from the life story of our brother. You see, brother, the hours, the hours you hope to achieve before the end of your period uh, at work in the United States, I want you to understand that it is only by the will of Allah you can achieve it. But I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to assist you. Amen. Yeah,